done, finished, running. This is something, man. Wow. Another day at Nick's, and another selection of beautiful muscle cars are in the shop. And as is often the case, many of them belong to Nick's friends. America's favorite, 69 Camaro. We got a big block in here, 454, 1969 Camaro. Yeah, you got a little dinger, but it doesn't matter. It's a genuine 69 Camaro. Apparently it's a rare one. Okay, I gotta find a new set of spark plugs to get it going. The owner of this car is the man who's doing the upholstery on my uh, seats, my headliner, and of course who's done my seat belts. Ivan. This is Ivan's car. It's a nice piece. 454. He wants to restore it when it's all original. Apparently it's a very rare uh, option car. I don't know the details, but it's, very, it's a unique piece. He's doing, helping me out with my interior and I'm helping up with his engine. It's not running well. He's got a flooding issue. He's got spark plugs are black, running too rich. So I'm going to look at it uh, sometime, sometime soon. But I noticed that the plugs are black. I believe he's got the wrong number also. He's got HEI. So you know what? It's going to be here for a few days and uh, we're going to tune it up for Ivan. After all, I got to take care of him. He takes care of me, I got to take care of him. Anyways. Let's get going. And look at this. I've got a 1970 Challenger, a 340 car automatic, and this is a very, very well optioned car. It's got practically every option you can think of. It's got uh, two fender tags, bucket seats, rainbow steering wheel, power windows, really something, dual sport mirrors, tinted glass, vinyl top, backlight louvers, Rear spoiler, lab group, pedal dress up, and much more. So many things. AM FM multiplex stereo, five speakers. Came in for a few little things like suspension work and uh, repair an exhaust leak, and of course, a little tune up, oil change, and that's it. We checked the suspension, and of course, we replaced the coupler on the steering column, and that's about it. But besides that, this is a good running challenger, and it belongs to Benoit. Yeah, <laughs> I sound like a car salesman, eh? Trying to sell a car. But it is, it's a unique car, it's nice, it's rare. And then again, I've been staying many, many nights during the week. And uh, I've been putting my car together. I didn't get much done because uh, some things are hard to fit. For example, when you have a car that you changed a lot of sheet metal, then when you start putting it together, this is where you find all the complications and, uh, you know, some things just don't fit right. So what you have to do is you gotta, make it fit, trim it, find ways of making it work. I've done a lot of cars uh, that I've owned and I've never, never broke a glass. But I was unfortunate a few nights ago, I was putting in the quarter glass. It kept jamming between the quarter panel and the panel. It shattered, my left rear quarter glass, it shattered because uh, it kept touching the quarter panel. So uh, what I had to do is uh, take off everything. I tried to, uh, form the metal of the inner part of the quarter panel, which overlaps over here. It took me quite a few hours to figure this out. Now I got it to work. And of course I had to bend the metal inside the quarter panel inboard, so it won't push the glass towards the panel. So as I tried a few times, putting it up and down, it just exploded on me. But now finally, I got it in there, it's working. And of course, it's ready to go. And I started putting in the carpet. And my favorite part is the shifter. I finally got the boot in there. And right now I'm working on the uh, carpet. I'm trimming it slowly when I get a chance to do it. I've got my uh, seat belts in place. And then the next thing I got to do is uh, clean the door panels and start putting the door panels in place. And then there's another issue. I had the exhaust system done. These are repros. They look good, but you know what? I'm not happy with it. So what I'm going to do is, since I installed two super turbos, underneath the back seat on the car, had a custom fit pipes in there. 
I find it too loud, and plus I'm not happy with these chrome tips. So what I'm gonna do now is, I got another set of mufflers, which are gonna be right underneath the trunk where the heat shield is. I'm gonna install these so I can muffle up the sound a bit because I find the car a little bit too loud, and I don't want it very loud. I just want to quiet it down a bit, so I'm gonna use these like uh, resonators, and hopefully it quiets down a bit. And then you know what? We'll see how it sounds from then, and we'll take it from there. So slowly but surely, we're getting this car together. I'm not finished with it yet. I'm still waiting for Ivan to bring in my seats. But of course, you know, Ivan does uh, upholstery for uh, million dollar homes. And he's the man who's doing the interior of my car. Here's an example right here. And Ivan is a man that does the best or nothing. And he's taken one part of my seat I've given him my seats in a very, very rough shape. And of course, he's put his own liner in here. He sandblasted the frame, had it painted. He put another uh, vinyl uh, cloth inside so it doesn't puncture the foam. And then again, when you buy the foam, it's pretty straightforward. Here it's a lot thinner, and here it's a lot thicker. So he says, Nick, I had to add foam here, trim it there. And of course, it took him a while because when you buy the foam, it has a crease only in the middle. But this seat, have two creases. But anyways, that's his specialty. He knows what to do, and he's done his best. And look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? This is the passenger seat. Now he's working on the uh, other seats. He's working on the rear seat. He's working on the two bases, and also the driver's seat. But besides that, this is gorgeous. When it comes to full restorations, this is the man to do the upholstery. Uh, of course, I'm gonna help him with his cars. He's helping me with my cars. He's the man who's done the uh, seat belts on my car. He's on the headliner. And he's, you know, from what I know, he's one of the best in town. I've got a good team. I had Dan helping me with the exhaust, which uh, we're gonna redo it again because I wanna make it a little bit quieter. I've got Ivan here with this. I've got my friend Manny helping me with a few things also. I've got a good team. I got Vasily helping me. I've got a lot of good friends, you know, like, uh, uh, every corner we got someone, so we do our best. For example, that radio light, that radio light, it's very dim. And you know, I wasn't happy with that. I wanted to make something to be brighter. So what we did, we did a modification, soldered some wiring, and of course, made the light work. And we had to clock it to see how bright we wanted to make. And here, I'll show you an example. See now, everything lights up, and I wanted that radio to be just as bright. And look at this. There you go. I couldn't see that light before. And this is what I was talking about. I want every light to work in this car perfect. So, there you go. Now I'm happy. So I installed my original shifter that I had restored. I got my new boot. And of course I trimmed the carpet, put it in place, and here it is. The one that you slide in, one year only, 1970. It's also rubber insulated, so you won't have no vibrations whatsoever when you drive this car. Pistol grip shifter from Hurst on the E-body. Nick often has his friends' cars in the shop along with his customers. And more often than not, when he's talking about his own build, he's mentioning the good friends who have helped him along the way. We drank all the coffee from all the viewers. <laughs> I'm dying for a coffee right now. So I'm gonna make some. So, so, so one of my buddies here wants to have one too with me. So you know what? I'll make a, a couple of cups. But then again, I got to get that car done. I promised to the end of September to have it done, but looks like I didn't meet my goal. I tried my best. And you know, like I said, putting a car together, all these pieces, it's time consuming. And of course, I had help with a few good friends of mine. And of course, you know, like when you start working on your own project at six o'clock after hours, you're tired, but you know, you do the best. And then again, when you're working at night and you need a, a certain piece or an item, you can't get it because everything's closed. So what do I do? Work on the next thing or whatever I can. They come and see how much pieces are involved to a front seat. These are all the pieces, all the hardware, we put the two bucket seats together, assemble them. Because you need uh, to work like a bucket seat, you need the track, you need the handle, lock in place, you need the springs to lock it, then you have the stoppers, then of course you got the seat back, then you have the hinges, it's a lot of little pieces, but you know what? Let me get it done, and we'll see how it goes from there. 
And this is all the same pieces that came out of that rusty lump. All the same pieces. So I had them clean, and right now I'm waiting for the seats to come in so I could start assembling them so I could put them in the car. This is what you call lean, mean, and whatever, I don't know. But look, that's sexy, man. Isn't it? You want to hear it run? Yeah. It runs. Yeah. Yeah, it runs. <laughs> you want to hear it? I'll start it for you. Do they want to hear it? Nick knows the answer to that question. <laughs> Nick has had the help of a lot of good friends along the way on this build. Friends like Giuliano, who restored the dash cluster, but passed away before he could see it in the car. And friends like Daryl, who gave that same dash cluster to Nick as a birthday gift. You know what that is? That's Giuliano coming alive. I know that. He's talking to you. Yeah. You know what that is? That's what it is. That's man. true. Everything works, eh? Came a long way. Everything works. Came a long way. Yeah. We've got Dan in town because he's a professional uh, welder with metal. So uh, we're gonna redesign the exhaust system as I wanna make it a little bit slightly quieter. So we're gonna install two uh, different mufflers as resonators to muff up the sound a bit with the original chrome tips. And I hope it comes to the sound that I want. Uh, what do you got there, Christian? It's a birthday a couple of uh, months ago. I ordered this a while back. Okay. It took a while to come. It's not the exact one I wanted. I'll explain to you when you open it. It's For my birthday? Happy belated birthday, man. Oh, thank you, man. Wow. It's a lot of gifts coming in lately. It looks like it's my birthday every day here. Yep. Christian is the owner of the uh, Mad Max car we have here. The one we built, uh, we built for him. Wow, you got to be kidding me, man. I figured you're in Canada, you need something yeah. very Canadian. You live in Canada, and what do we got here? Well, I've never seen this flight before. Nope. And what do we got here? Can't see. That's the crust of the world. Royal well, Canadian Mounted Police. Hey, Chris, thanks a lot, man. I know you're an officer of the law Happy for Canada, day. and this is awesome. Oh, I'm going to put it up with my rest of the flights. Right. Got to put your name on it first. 
And I want to give you a big thank you, man. Thank you very much, man. Happy birthday. Thank, thank you. you. Another flight to the collection. Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday. Wow. Good on you, Chris. Uh, pleasure. Nice. Pleasure. Thank you, man. I'm going to put it up. Three hundred hours. We're gonna have the exhaust system on. I'm a very picky guy, and I want it precise the way I want it. Don't say that. You scare people. <laughs> you know me. I want it perfect. I want no rattles. I want it to look good. I want it to sound good. Here we go. The magic touch. Let's put it on. I've been waiting this moment all week. Actually, thirteen months to be exact. Are you ready? Bring it more down, Dan. I can see it better when it's further down, if you don't mind. Because I need to look at it like a view like this, you know what I mean? I think we're pretty good. Okay, which is which now? Wow, we can take off the flap. It's like I said, it's in the middle. It doesn't really do nothing. No? You see, it takes some exhaust from here. Oh, see, this one's good. Uh, we can maybe move that one. They're not even the same, eh? No. I think you they know. tried moving it because see, there's a clamp that went here. Yeah. They tried to move it. Or they banged it out. See, that one is not centered. See, this one's almost in yeah. the center. So we'll cut it open, what do you think? See, this is going to go straight out. Yeah, this yeah, one, yeah. one third of it goes over here. Yeah. So what I do is we're going to cut it open. Just, you want me to torture for you? Maybe you can bang it. If you could bang it, go right ahead. Because if I could take it off after, it would be okay, but can I? That's the question. It's all welded. No. See, it's welded yeah. down. You know, how about if I heat it up and bend it? Yeah. Okay, let me go do it fast, fast. I think it's good there. That it's good, fast. it's good, yeah. I want it to look like the other side. Yep, put on the genuine chrome tips. I want it just a little bit in. In more? Yeah, in more. Good, the gaps are good, everything's good. That's the way I want them. And then when you look from the top, this chrome sticks up more than that end because the panel is round. Chrome tip is straight. And over here, the chrome tip should hang out more. Yeah, yeah. I think we got him. I think we got it. Dan, you got the green light, go ahead. Here we are on a Saturday afternoon, and it's a rainy day, and we have a lot of visitors here today. I didn't expect that on a rainy day. And of course, you know, a lot of people come by to say hello and uh, watch us working on the Kowalski project. And uh, every day, every night, we put something on this car. And I'm hoping to get it done soon, because I want to get it for, uh, for our inspection. That's the uh, provincial plate on it. And of course, I want to take it for a drive. 
hopefully before the snow comes down. Come on, Nick, let's do it. Let's go. While some of the guys are taking their cars home to get them out of the rain, Nick is staying a little later at the shop to get his Kowalski one step closer. A few days later, the streets are dry again, and Daryl is on his way back to Nick's shop. He swings by to visit his friends often, but today is an extra special day. All right, today I'm gonna to take uh, my Kawaski project that I bought 13 months ago, and I've worked on it for uh, 13 months in a row, from a basket case to a turnkey trailer queen. So right now I'm just about to uh, show it off to uh, all my viewers here on uh, YouTube, and I got it running, I went through inspection yesterday, I got it registered with the province of Quebec, and now I wanna take it for a ride. And I wanna drive it just the way Barry Newman drove it. And let's take a look. Here it is, after 13 months of work, from inside out, from engine to transmission, differential, suspension, moldings, interior, not one bolt or screw or clip untouched. This was done on a 13 month project. Yes, it's time consuming, but I gave it my best shot. I built it and I got it running. And of course, I want all my viewers to watch me drive this car today. And of course, uh, I, I can't wait to get into it. So let me just describe the car a little bit. It is a U-code 1970 Dodge Challenger, just like Barry Newman drove in the movie Vanishing Point, filmed in 1971. It was a white car, Alpine white, like this car, for example, except my car was originally F8 green, but I made it Alpine white. 
But besides that, everything's factory from a 440 Magnum 4 speed Dana 60. It's exactly what you use in the film. 1970 Dodge Challenger. And this is a perfect example what he drove. So today I'm gonna to feel like he was driving the car. And of course, one thing missing on this car, the finishing touch, of course, is where the car originated from. And of course, I wanna put it up in front of the car right now, and then I'm gonna take it for a drive. And I've got a few displays from a few viewers. I've got like five, six of them. I wanna thank all my viewers that send these plates in. I don't know which one it is. Uh, I've done a lot, I've received a lot of them, but this one's gonna go on my car right now. Of course, I wanna road test it with this plate on it. Actually, this is the last piece of putting onto the car. It's gonna stay with the car. This car, it's all about this right here. This is what Kowalski drove in. This is the plates around the car. As we all know, uh, he drove it very hard in the film. And I was telling people and viewers and friends of mine that he drove it hard. And of course, I built this car the same way. And of course, everything's heavy duty on the car, just like it came from the factory. And I'm gonna drive it just like Barry Newman did. Well, you know what? I built it to enjoy it, and this is what I've done with it. Back in the film, uh, Barry Newman, uh, in the film, he had uh, four or five cars to uh, try out, beat it, race it, put it to the pace or whatever. Me, I only have this car. And of course, they're rare. You can't find them today. I only got one, but I'm going to do my best, and I want to show you guys how it drives. I hope everything goes well. As I plan to drive it hard with a good gear potty glass, this is the way Barry Newman drove the car, and this is exactly the way I'm gonna drive it. Now, let's go for a ride. Here it is, you guys. Here it is. Of course, the space saver. Check out all the detail. Look at this. This is unique. This took hundreds and hundreds of hours to put the car together. Okay, it's detailed, and if you guys have you seen it before, the underneath of the car is just as clean. And of course, I didn't build it. I built it as a trailer queen, but I want to drive it anyways. And I want to enjoy it. I want to say a special thank you to one of my viewers that sent me these keys and the uh, logo. And of course, I had them uh, coded to my car. Here they are. And of course, they're going to be running my Kowalski car. So yesterday, I finally got my final piece was the steering wheel. I've got it installed, and now I want to drive it. Now it's like driving a brand new car. Here we go. I'm just gonna put the lower uh, lap belt for safety reasons. Here we are. Okay, I got my seat belt on and here we go. I'm just gonna warm it up a little bit. I'm gonna take it for a ride. And check this out. And this car came with the R22 package, eight-track AM radio. And here we got Led Zeppelin on my eight-track. There was a one plate, but I want to hear the engine today. I said I was going to drive it hard like Barry Newman. Here we go. Yes, sir.
but you love it. I told you guys I'm going to drive like Barry Newman, and this is my car. I'm going to drive it any way I want. Here we go. Don't you love it, eh? Like I told you guys, I want to drive it hard. Here it is. This is what I built it for, so I can drive like Barry Newman. I know I'm a bit crazy, but this is what it's all about. It is a heavy duty package. That's what it came with from the factory. And of course, it weren't, it's a muscle car. It weren't meant to be driven easy, and I drive it just the way Chrysler built it. Now I'm gonna take another ride with it right now. And here we go. We'll go for another little ride. Here we go. Carcass spin tires. Wow. Oh, these polar guys really don't do the job, do they? Wow, this is sure is nice to drive this thing after 13 months in pieces. You know, after waiting 13 months buying it from a piece of scrap, and this is what it is. Look at that. I'm gonna put the tape down. I don't need the A-track. This is what we waited for. 30 months to build a Barry Newman special, which is a Kawaski car. And here it is. Done, finished, running. And it is. This is something, man. Wow, man. <laughs> this is something. I can't wait to beat it again. Or should I say, put it to the pace. Here it is.
And now let's take it down to the city and drive it. That's what I want to do now. Now let's take the big test. There it is. What do you think of it, folks? There it is. Good running car. There it is. It's all here. This is what we've been doing for 13 months. I took it for a drive, and isn't it awesome? Crazy, man. I just love it. Just love it. This is what it's all about. As I built so many cars for so many people, I finally built one for myself, and here it is. I finally finished it after 13 months. And now, I want to take it for a long drive. And this is a thing, something I can't wait. So as you see, I, did, I put it to the pace. Everything looks good, didn't break down. So now let's go for a long ride. So this is the first time I'm going to take my car out of the district. I want to go buy some fuel for the car from Petro Canada, right here in the service station in uh, Laval. Now let's go for a ride. Put on my seatbelt, safety first. There we go. Reverse light works, starts, handbrake works, all set. Here we go. We already blasted it, we don't need to blast it. Okay, let's go. I wanna buy some fuel right now, let's go. Here we go. Just our mirrors, let's go for a little drive. I had some viewers tell me, you know, you take it for a drive, but uh, you're always up and down the same street. Well, right now, let's uh, take a longer drive and get out of this little town. Or should I say this district? We're here on 1260 Tellier, right next to the prison. That's where we are located. And right now, we're going to go on the 440 and get some fuel from Petro Canada, which is a local service station, which is just down the street here. Well, let's go for a ride. Here it is. I finally finished my project after 13 months. Yes, here it is. And everything works. Speedometer, tachometer, gauges, clock, radio. Well, not that, not that I cover the radio. Heaters, wipers. Of course, we had to go to the uh, inspection uh, for the province of Quebec. And we took it to a Chrysler dealership that did the inspection. And we had everyone at the, uh, at the dealership look at the car. And uh, you know what it is to have a guy checking the car and he had a crowd of maybe 40 people around him watching him check this car. And they all said this is a brand new car, inside out, under the hood, under the car, anywhere you want it. Everything's practically new, everything works perfect, and that's the way I build them. And everything I do, every screw and bolt that I've touched on this car, I make sure it tightens. If it doesn't tighten, I'll tear it down again and make sure that screw tightens very good, very tight. That's you can see, there's no rattles, no squeaks, no nothing. Go straight, I've done the alignment on it the other day. Yesterday I did the inspection. Then I got the plates yesterday afternoon, and here we are driving it today. We cut no corners on this one, let me tell you. Look at that. Look how quiet. On all the puddles here, not a sound from this car. Rides like a brand new car. You know, pushing, everything. We've done everything to this car. And I took it step by step in many videos that you've seen in the past. And uh, of course, it takes a lot of time, it takes money. It takes uh, passion, contacts, good friends, good help. And of course, you have to have a wife who's a saint. You have spent many nights working on this car to get it finished. And we're heading up to Petrocanda right now. And this is the Highway 440. After all, that highway is named after my uh, engine 440. <laughs> and now let's go buy fuel for the first time. I want to take it into the city and uh, Kick it around, enjoy it. This is something. This is the first time. Look at it, look at it. What a ride, what a ride. This is too much. I'm sure some people are saying, look at it, it's like a little, little uh, kid with his toy. But you know what? I've worked 13 months to get this car going, and this is the results. Look at the temperature. Oil pressure is good. Temperature is good. We're going to hit a idle for a while. And this is the block that we had welded in the shop and we're doing uh, testing on this motor. This is the one with the uh, test mule engine. It, it is not the matching motor. The matching motor we built this winter. And of course, right now I've got the uh, test mule in it, which I'm doing experiments with it on power brakes, revving it up, checking oil pressures, checking if the weld works on the side of the block where we uh, had it welded between the two core plugs. Now I'm just gonna wait till someone to finish. Then I'll take it for uh, some fuel. I believe we're gonna have to go around.
drives like a new car, man. Let me tell you. Look at that, no cracking noise, nothing whatsoever. Now, if I could only meet Barry Newman, pick him up, take him for a ride, and I want to show him I'm driving it just like he does. And we all know this is exactly what he drove. And of course, no cars were left from the original film. Everything went back to Chrysler and then it was crushed. So there was no surviving cars from the film in 1971. But this is the exact same car from the factory what he drove. And this is it, right from the factory. An original 440 Magnum car, four speed. Here it is, U code. The person I bought the car from, Steve, uh, he, has it, uh, he had it at home in 15 years, never drove the car, he bought it in pieces, or I don't know, but it is after 16 years. One year with me, 15 years from the person I bought it from, it's alive and it's running on the road. And here we are in a service station, Petro Canada, and we're gonna fuel it up. And this is the fuel we buy uh, for our dyno testing, right here, Octane 94. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's go back to the shop. Listen to the idol. Don't you love that idol? It's got a little cam in it, ported heads, and besides that, it's all factory. Imagine that. I built so many 440s, and the highway next to our shop is 440. Out of route 440. Look at that. I built the engine, the transmission and all. Tim from British Columbia, this is a force speed that I built in my shop. And I'm gonna do the same job on your transmission also. And I'll make sure your 446 pack runs as good as this one also. They love it already, eh? You know, you get a lot of thumbs up when you drive with these old cars. But it is the first time it's been exposed to the public right now. Look at that. I just bought insurance last night at the last minute of the day. Now I just gotta get it evaluated. I have some valuation on it, not much, but you know what? I'll take care of it next week. Look at that, so smooth. No rattles, no nothing. I just love it. It feels driving like a new car, doesn't it? You know, I drive, I enjoy driving my Hellcat, but this one is one nice ride, let me tell you. This is one nice drive. Makes you, makes you feel like you're young again, back in my youth, driving a 1970 Challenger. And what do we got here? Radar. I'm not speeding. I'm not there putting the car to the pace, I'm just taking it easy. They're supposed to be chasing me if I want to be buying you, man. Yeah, I'm down here, you guys. I'm over here looking for Kowalski. I'm over here, you guys. There's the plate, it's in the front of the car, Kowalski, Colorado. I'm ready to take it downtown, let me tell you. Look at that. 
Carnell, here I come. Love it. Downshift, third gear. And of course, we're running with polyglass F6015. They're not even radial tires. They're just plain, simple, cheap polyglass tires. And it rides pretty nice. Okay, we're not going that fast, but still. This is what the car came with. This is what I'm driving it with. After all, I had them in stock for a long time in storage. So I had George come down uh, downtown in my storage facility to pick them up. And here they are, finally on the car. The finishing touch. You remember this car when I went to Thunder Bay and picked it up? It was nothing like this. Nothing. This is it. It's the same car. Yes, it took a lot of uh, work to get it here. A lot of passion, a lot of work, a lot of help, a lot of good friends. And here it is, the final results. What more can you ask for? And if I'm happy, damn, I'm happy. I've done it. I'm very happy. And look at that, it rides like a new car. What more can I ask for? You, you put it to the pace, you drive it, look at this. What more can you ask for? And here we are, we're back at the shop. can I show you guys this is all uh, this is all what I'm all about building dreams and this is one of my dreams as you guys seen that I took it for a, <clears throat> a drive with you guys hope you enjoy the ride with us and believe me I'm gonna take it out for a night ride one day but uh, I, love, I love driving at night and I can't wait to do that but in the meantime I ran it today everything ran well got the fuel we made it back nobody pushing no tow trucks we're ready for a long drive thank you It's been a crazy week uh, this week because I uh, had my car going through inspection, had my car gone for wheel alignment, put the whole car together, I finally got it done. I took some ride with it today, I did some testing and uh, everything went well, everything went sweet. So um, I'm happy to get it done. And then again, of course, I wanna thank all my viewers, all my patrons, supporters, and of course, all the visitors have come to my shop uh, in here in person. So I wanna thank you all for coming here. And a very special thanks to all of you guys and of course all of our subscribers that have come to the uh, channel and watch us here on uh, YouTube. And then we just passed the 100,000 subscribers. And what did we get? This is what we got. Here it is. And here it is, you guys. And you know what the best part was? That it fell on my birthday on August 31st. We hit the 100,000 subscribers exactly three years from that date. Almost what? Almost three years. And here it is. We've earned it. We've got it here. And I can't wait to open it up. 
and I'm gonna wait till I finish my mail time and then see what we got inside. And what have we got here? We got a package from uh, William from the state of Illinois. I've been to Illinois, yes I have. I got a spinning ticket in Chicago. <laughs> That's a while back. Every package comes with a letter. Hi Nick, wife and I love the show. We sent you some high visibility shirts and a couple of old dealer stickers for you. Mr. Norm, Bill and Donna. This is nice, let's see these shirts. Oh, oh this is Campaign Illinois, nice, check it out. Campaign Illinois, truck and tire towing. So if I have a truck and go down to Illinois, I'm gonna call you guys if I break down, nice. Grant, Grant Spalding Dodge. That's, that's Mr. Norm. Okay, thank you. That's, a, thank that's you. a flag man when you race at night. That's right, man. This, you walk in the street, you can see a mile away. Look at that brightest colors you can get. Bill and Donna, thank you very much. Thank you. And of course, we got another package here from William from California. Well, what do you got here? Feels like uh, maybe it's a flag or a t-shirt. I don't know. Let's find out. Ooh, check it out. Check it out, Vasily. Check it out. Oh, yeah. A couple of shirts, eh? Right, Nick, thanks for your old school shirt. Please enjoy these. Keep up the good work. We love your channel. Need help with my 68 RB440. Email me if you can help me with the technical advice. I'll be more than glad to help you out, Billy. Seal Beach, California Harbor. Surfboard. Oh, check it out, man. Surfboarding by a harbor, Seal Beach. Nice. Uh, California, eh? Don't you love the state of California? Look at that, eh? Yeah, this is nice. This is nice. I'll send you an email, or you send me an email actually, because uh, I, I got so many emails here. I don't know where I'm going uh, lately, but uh, I've got I'm over overwhelmed. But send me an email, and uh, I'll help you out with your 440. I'll give you all the advice I know. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. And this one here is from Dick from the state of Vermont, Green Mountain. That's what Vermont stands for. If you put it in French, Ver Green Mount Montagne, Green Mountain. Here, Vasily, open it up and I'm going to read the letter. Here, you need a razor blade? Go ahead. Hi, Nick and guys. This is for all of us. I'm looking forward to coming up again and have a great time with you guys. Maybe this fall or winter. Here's a flag to complete your collection from Canada. Oh, this must be PEI, Prince Edward Island. Yeah, finally. We finally got the provincial flag of Prince Edward Island, which is the 10th flag I'm missing from Canada. Dick and Reed Tomasco, thank you very much. We finally got the flag of uh, Prince of Rhode Island. There it is. Good stuff. Wow, another flag to the collection. Vasily, what do you got there, man? Wow. This is heavy, man. This is heavy. Wow, look at this. This has been... This has been... Uh, wow, look at the way they... Uh, oh, here we go. What do we got here? Wow, check this oh, out. Oh, look at Vanishing Point on top. You're kidding me. <laughs> <That> <laughs> the first magazine. Yeah, check it out. Look at this. Uh, look at this, man. Put it right beside oh, the car. One. Oh, my God. Check it out. Here, Vasily. Go right behind the car. Show, the, show them the car right here. There is the project. Right there. Check this out. Yeah, retired U.S. Army Sergeant Michael. Wow. Scat pack. Look at that. All these are Mopar people. And by the way, thank you for the magazines. And the first ones I see are from uh, Kowalski. Uh, and there it is. Show it off. There's our project, there's our car. And there it is, live. Just finished in time. Okay, I remember a long time ago, we got a model TA Challenger. It's upstairs in my office. Michael, I remember that TA. Still in my office, thank you very much. I see now that you have written here. It reminds me of, uh, I have my little, all my collections in my office. And very soon we're going to be getting coffee from Michael. <laughs> oh, it's too much, you guys. Thank you, Mike. Thank you very much. Look at all the old books. And I want to thank you very much all the way to Washington State. Look at that. Look at that. I can't believe some people go all the way uh, out of the way to go to uh, package them. Of course, find the gift, package it, run to the post office or whatever. Man, you guys go out of the way for this. And I got to thank you guys. I love you. I just, I don't know what to say. It's overwhelming. Thank you. Okay. And what do we got here? Oh, this is pretty heavy. Let's see what this is. And this is from uh, Gagnon from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. All right, let's see what we got. I've never been to Saskatoon. Never. Wow. What was it? Rust check. Hey, <laughs> I'm not driving my car in the winter. <laughs> I close the pictures of a 1985 Dodge. Here's the picture, he's got pictures. So this is a truck he drives day and night. Another Dodge guy. Oh my God. 
your project on the Kowalski Challenge Edition needs some of this product. And enjoy. And enjoy. You enjoy my YouTubes. Look at this. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to use some of this in some areas of the car. This is good stuff. And what's this here? Another shirt. Oh my God, I'm going to get bombarded. Hey, medium. Got me a medium shirt. Oh, look at this. This, this is, a, this is a, just check this out. What's this? Look at that. That's awesome, man. Look at that. This is good, man. Alan, thank you very much, Alan. Wow, oh, we got a nice big package here. And where's this from? <laughs> Thunder Bay, Ontario. This is where I picked up the, my Project Kawaski. Maybe he's got something here that belongs to the car. Who knows? Thunder Bay. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, you look important. Okay, hello, Nick. Greetings from the land of the sleeping giant Thunder Bay. I have great admiration for your talents and dedication to the Mopar brand. I worked at all make Chrysler dealership for 40 years. I've seen all the muscle cars and own a lot of them. And clothes is the official flag of Thunder Bay. Also photos of my two favorite cars. Sincerely yours, Willie. Let me see that. Oh, wow, look nice, at that. Nice, dude. Oh, get it on. Check it out. Dustery, yeah. just like you, man. And look at that, 71 Challenger. Look at that, from Thunder Bay, yeah? 446 pack, built ground up resto, 1998. Nice. And this one here, 72 Plymouth Dust 34, four speed, bought new in the dealer. $3,400, daily driver. So let's see the flag of Thunder Bay, where originally I bought the car from, and apparently the car was sold brand new in Thunder Bay. So the car was all its life in Thunder Bay. So here we got it. And I see they put their name on it too. Hey, what does he got there? Willie, City of Thunder Bay. Former home of the Kawaski Challenger. Good luck, Nick. Oh, I couldn't do better than that, man. That is awesome, man. Very well said, man. Very well said. And of course, now, the moment we were waiting for, three years later, 100,000 subscribers plus for such a long time, this is the moment right here. Like I said, you cannot buy this, and this is the real thing. So you have to earn it. And of course, a special thank to all you viewers and subscribers. This is why it's here, because of you. Okay, well, if it's broken, it's valuable more. Oh, than... don't say that. Don't say what that. Do you mean it's broken Explain can me. be broken, can be broken. Wait, that's well packaged. And it's what we got here. Wow. Oh, what does it say here? Each and every person who has subscribed to your channel has been touched by what you created. Of course. This all comes with all you guys have joined and watched our channel, enjoyed it, and subscribed. And because of you guys, this is why it's here. And uh, here it is. Congratulations on your subscriber milestone. We are honored to take part in recognizing your achievement and want your experience to be exceptional. This award was expected and it's packaged with great care by Rick. Rick, you did a good job of checking it out. Let's check it out ourselves now. And here it is, that special plaque. It's coming up. Here. Yeah. Here it is, here it is. Let's go. This is it. This the moment it. we're looking for. Here it is. Presented to Nick's Garage. Here it is for Briss, for for passing 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Here it is, you guys. We did it. Thanks to all of you guys. And here it is. It took three years and 100,000 subscribers to get here. Thanks. This is something. And like I said, you can't buy this. You got to earn it. And here it is. And now I'm going to put it up in my shop with pride and to show it to everybody that comes to the shop and everything we've done. Here we are. Thank you. Thank you. And a special thanks to all you guys, all my viewers, the Patreon supporters, the visitors, and everybody. You know, I can't say uh, there's so much involved out there. Of course, we've done as much as we can. We did the best I can. I got to thank my staff. got to thank my camera guy. You know, we're not funded by anybody. We do everything on our own. We do as much as we can. We want to make everybody entertained. I love our videos. And I want to give you guys all a special thank you. And keep watching, subscribing, and enjoy. Thank you all. Love you all. And you guys, if you look down below the video, we have a whole bunch of merchandise that you guys can buy. So whatever you like, buy it, love it, wear it, and enjoy it. And help spread the word of Nick's Garage. And if you have some time, check out our Patreon page. We have extra content, and you guys can watch it and take it from there. And we'll see you next time.